You're still watching Ways. Now, today is Husband Appreciation Day. The objective of this special day is for wives to show appreciation to husbands in marriage with no children. Now, in a marriage with children, there's Father's Day, a day to recognize the value of husbands with kids. So it is only fitting that there will be a day, special day, like today, to recognize and show appreciation to childless husbands. Now, it should be very easy for you to show appreciation to your husband for who he is and for the many great things he's done. And uh, all you need to do is just show him, let him know that he's doing well. And since you already know his likes and his dislikes, start by telling him you appreciate him. <laughs> love you. You love me. I love me. all the husbands in the world though, <laughs> that know, do not have that, children because I think yes. it is actually very important to celebrate them because that, usually it's always Father's Day, Father's Day. There is also something that we, we fail to realize. The husbands, most husbands that are married with to women without children, they say to them, oh, we married you, not the children. Mm. We married you not because we want you to have children. We don't, if we have children, we'll be very happy, though. But we married you because we love you. So mm. to all the husbands out there Absolutely. that actually appreciate their wives and love them, we, we love, love you all the husbands, and we appreciate you as well. And we appreciate and celebrate you this day. Absolutely. All right. So, Isi, yes. today is a very, very strong day. What it's did you find for us? Day. <laughs> what did it's you find for us day. in the news? Um, in the news, we all know that Abba Kari, Kari, um, passed on and um, a lot of issues have been coming up here and there and uh, this as a result of the COVID-19. Um, he died as a result of it, you know, when he tested positive um, a month ago and um, currently he is, he has passed on and this is as a result of the fact that he, also, he already had pre-existing health, health conditions. conditions. Yeah. And um, this also calls to mind that there is also another doctor who also passed on as a result of this as well, um, Dr. Ch Emeka Chubo, he also passed on as a result of having pre-existing health, health conditions condition. as well. Both of them had asthma and um, diabetes. Mm. So um, we are looking at a situation whereby people that have pre-existing health conditions, they should be very mindful and careful Absolutely. during this period Absolutely. of um, COVID-19. Okay, yes. my story is actually like a, almost like a continuation of where you stopped. I watched, um, I'm, I'm sure a lot of us witnessed the burial ceremony, or would I call it the burial and the final rites for um, the late um, Abba chief Chiari, the late chief, chief of staff, or the former chief of staff, like they would like to put it. For me, um, I'm calling out NCDC, especially because Right here on this table, when Funke Akidele did something um, about organizing parties, we called them out, called her out, and they arrested and prosecuted. Now, exactly. the video that was showing just now on screen was a young man taking off his the so-called protective gear mm -hmm. after the burial. He dumped that thing, he put off the, the, the clothes, <laughs> dropped it there. Then I think he went back to his car, came back, put it in a nylon bag, and now dumped it. Now, I am hearing claims that this, this um, a protective gear had, has been burnt. But this is the height of irresponsibility. Even at that, he didn't wash his hands. First of all, if you look at that burial ceremony, there was no social distancing observed. Mm -hmm. Now you, I mean, for Funke Akedele's case, there was no confirmed case of anybody that was, was living was with COVID-19 that was positive. Yes. In this case, this man died of COVID-19. Yes. I mean, did you already know that part of what killed this man was the disease, the COVID-19 disease. And supposed to observe so, social distancing. If I, I told my producers time. to get a video of mm -hmm. how people have been buried abroad, you okay. know, if they could see the difference. Because okay. when you are burying somebody living with the, I mean, uh, uh, sorry, someone that has died from this disease, this disease, there is a pattern. You didn't have, you look at it now. You don't need mm -hmm. more than the people that are dressed up in their protective gears. They bury them quietly. There was one I saw with long um, robes. They just bury them quietly and they go away hmm. without any ceremony. In fact, one of the videos I heard in the background, a woman crying in, in the background. And I'm sure that she might be clustered around these people. There as is well. no cluster. This there is, is just the burial. Around them. So now, now look at that, that exposure that has happened. Comparing this with what we have hmm. in Nigeria. Currently. It doesn't make any sense. Look at the clusters. Now, this video that is currently airing on, on, on TV. Video. Now, this is how they bury them. You know, this, you are seeing everybody that's in the video is wearing a protective gear. So why would we, knowing that this man has died of COVID-19, 
Is it that we're not taking it seriously? In fact, this is now making people say that, are you sure that are this... serious. No, are you even sure that this COVID-19... Because people are saying that if you claim that the COVID-19 is this deadly, mm -hmm. you shouldn't go to that barrier site. I mean, you shouldn't take place. it lightly. So, I mean, I don't, I don't get it. I'm very mm -hmm. upset, and I hope that the NCDC will call... Now, even the president should arrest every single person that went for that... Uh, this no, and they should all them. be isolated. No, they, but they, they, have to, they have to be prosecuted too. What is the good same for thing they did yes? To, what um, is good for one is good for the other. For the other. They should be prosecuted and they should I be. Feel you. They should they should go for community service and pay the fine as well. Calm down, Uwa. What is it? I mean, <laughs> it, I understand where you're coming from. The essence of this is that we are passing that message out there that they should be mindful of the uh, of what they are preaching. They they are Practice preaching what you they're preach. preaching. They're preaching social distance and they're not exhibiting it. They're not practicing it in any form or in any way. So it's absurd. All right. It's so so let absurd. me just calm down. So calm in the down. spirit of checking up on all our viewers, we have Stephen on Skype that he's joined us. I think he's in Lecky, Lagos. Stephen, are you there? <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm told that Stephen will join us right after the break. So we'll see, we'll, we'll see you right after the break to discuss pre-existing conditions and medical, yeah, with the medical doctors.